Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Steve. Today we're going to check out one of the latest offerings from Smith & Wesson. That's right, the Smith & Wesson M&P 9 Pro Series Core Edition. This is Smith & Wesson's latest offering for, I guess, the competition scene. Uh, I argue that you could even use this as a concealed carry gun. I know <laughs> a lot of people would not agree with me with that. But uh, as of the past year, I've been carrying full-sized guns, uh, you know, and I actually modified one of my holsters, I'll show you that in a minute, to actually carry this gun, because it's not that much different than the M&P full-size. The only difference here is that it has the red dot and a 5-inch barrel, but the grip length is the same, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. First off, I want to hit, I want to touch on some of the stuff that you get when you buy this uh, gun most importantly you get these adapters and these are I'll just pull a couple out of here the adapters for your red dot these cover most of the red dots out there in the market uh, right now I have a Trigicon arm arm mounted on there and uh, I had to use a whatever adapter I think it was uh, the type 1 adapter or whatever um, and you also get, when you get the gun, you'll have this plate on the top to fill that gap because uh, this is milled in to the slide. Uh, like most of your tactical uh, gun shop, custom shops I guess do today, they mill, mill the uh, red dot to sit down into the slide and that's how this red dot sits in the uh, M&P. It's not uh, just on top of there at all. So you, that's one of the most important things I guess you get on there. Uh, another thing you get is your small, medium, and large back straps. And Smith & Wesson did something new this year, I guess for 2013, they uh, textured their back straps, which is pretty nice. I wouldn't change these at all. I have in the past uh, changed, uh, stippled my M&P full size front and back uh, the grip and the back strap just for a little bit more traction I would probably do a stipple job on the front of this just because there's not much there it's just their regular whatever texture they use so I probably would stipple that uh, anyway you get two, two magazines and I'm still kinda mad about Smith & Wesson and whatever their problem with getting magazines out is uh, it's just you get two mags, which is fine. You just can't find any on the aftermarket, which is dumb, since you can find Glocks, Sigs, any other magazine you want besides Smith and Wesson. They just like don't exist. Um, so I don't know, but I guess we'll go ahead and pull the gun out here and talk more specifically about it. Like I said, the Pro Series has been out for for a little while now. Uh, Basically, the Pro Series was maybe just a little bit nicer trigger and a 5-inch barrel. Um, for whatever reason, I've really thought that this gun was lighter than the regular Pro Series, or the regular uh, full-size, but it is 26 ounces where the full-size is 24 ounces. So, I don't know. It, it, for, to me, for whatever reason, it really does just feel lighter, but I don't know. Apparently, it's not. So, especially when you add the dot and all that on there it's going to be heavier and if you add a tactical light or whatever if you wanted to um, but the good thing about it is is that I found that you can still run your regular M&P holsters uh, like I said I've modified this holster all I had to do was cut this down a little bit this is my uh, MDJ store holster and I can put this holster right in here and I could carry it if I wanted to just like that uh, so, you know, I think that's kind of cool, it, you know, just to carry a competition gun and concealed carry. I know it's kind of ridiculous, but just to say that you can do it, I think it's kind of cool. I don't know. So anyway, uh, just a few of the specs on the gun. It's pretty much identical to the full size. Um, it's a 9mm, I think you I'm not sure that you can get it in any other calibers, but I wouldn't, don't quote me on that. 
Uh, it's 17 plus 1, same grip size as the other uh, M&P, so you can use any M&P magazine in this gun. Uh, it is striker fired, 5 inch barrel. You have 3 dot sights on the gun. You see my red dot lit up there. Just the regular sights, or nothing special. Um, and the grip's polymer. The slide is made out of stainless steel, uh, coated in there. Uh, whatever coating they use, I don't remember it offhand. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess it's 68 HRC, whatever that is. So I have put about uh, 300 rounds or so through this gun, getting the red dot sighted in and just shooting it uh, before I got the red dot. So probably about around 300 rounds, and it shoots just like any other MP. Shoots really nice. I think the trigger could be a little bit nicer. It seems a little bit, uh, the gun is unloaded. It seems a little bit gritty. I mean, you can hear and you can feel that. It's just not smooth. And I would think a Pro Series gun, especially when you're going to pay right at $700 for it, would have a better trigger than that. But I, find, I found out that my, my full size trigger has, uh, or my full size MMP VTAC has a nicer trigger than this one does. But. My uh, MP VTAC does have about close to 1,500 rounds through it, so that might have something to do with it. I don't know. I do like this gun. Um, I do not think I'm going to keep it, uh, just in the interest of full disclosure. I just can't really, I'm not feeling the red dot. It's just, it's not that it's hard to shoot or anything like that. It's actually pretty easy to shoot and it's very accurate. Um, it's just hard to justify it when you can have another gun for the price of this I paid five hundred and fifty dollars for this so that's another gun and I you know for something that basically for me just sits in the safe uh, and I get out to shoot every once in a while I would rather have another handgun than to have this setup so I don't know I mean it's pretty nice it is very cool and it you know has a cool factor and I know that these kind of setups are kind of the wave of the future if you will um, according to uh, a lot of tactical instructors <laughs> so but personally me I like the iron sights they're faster for me I've been shooting iron sights since 2007 now so I don't know I uh, it's just not really I'm not really into it as much as I thought I would be so but yeah the the M&P Pro Series Core Edition is a pretty sweet pistol uh, I personally, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna end up uh, trading this pistol and getting just a regular MMP Pro because uh, on this you can't, you have to get special sights because this is not the the regular sight, the, especially the rear one. And so I would rather just have a regular Pro series without the optic. And then I uh, bought another gun, which I'll talk about here in a little bit in a future video. Uh, I really wanted to get into a SIG, so it's kind of a teaser for my next video, I guess. So if you have any questions about this gun, I know I didn't shoot it a whole lot. I have shot the MP platform a lot more. Like I said, I have about 1,500 rounds through my other MP VTAC. Um, you know, flawless. This gun was flawless too, by the way. I didn't have any uh, malfunctions of any kind. Um, you'll see in some of my other shooting videos, I did have some malfunctions, but that was ammo related. That was my, my reloads, not necessarily the gun. I have, for whatever reason, I have a bad batch of primers. I don't know why, but yeah, that's not the gun. That's my reloads. So if you have any questions, go ahead and shoot them uh, in the, in the comments below. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. And, uh, thanks for watching.